XPC7 here, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Farm Sim 22. Hope everybody's doing well. It is a Saturday morning here in the beautiful Sunshine Coast of BC, Canada, and uh, a chilly minus 2 degrees when I went out for my walk this morning. So yeah, it has, uh, the dregs of autumn are upon us here. Another couple of weeks and the storms will set in. But this is uh, still the tail end of uh, last episode's day. And the reason for that is, is I decided since Mr. Wilson had another crop right across the road from where we had harvested the last one, I'd take the contract. It's only like a $5,000 contract. And as you can see from the entire 13,600 liters that we pulled off the field, it wasn't exactly a big contract. What have we got over there? There's, uh, and that's at this point, a kind of running theme. Uh, I'll show you the contracts in a sec here. Yeah, we made under two grand on that one. For as far as excess crop. So that's definitely the smallest uh, mission we've done so far. But... If we actually look at the contracts, oh, this one wasn't here when I first logged in, so that's not too bad. But you can see they're definitely, you know, getting down there. There is still a few. I mean, and this might be worth doing, actually, at uh, field 51. Because eh? these aren't going to be all that big. Yeah, there's 51. What is that? Oh, is there really symbols to show you contract? I had never saw that before. Isn't that something? But yeah, that one. But I'm thinking as we are four days shy of the end of September, it might be time we did a little more of our own work here. So I've actually reset the combine. So it's sitting at the shop. I didn't want to have to drive it all the way. We were we we're starting to get pretty far out there. <laughs> so, yeah, it seemed like... Uh, but as you can see, I mean, we've got a mountain of poo. There's a full tanker of uh, slurry sitting in there. We've got this grass field to tend. Um, plus, we have to cut and etc, etc, the other grass field, which is much bigger than this one. So, yeah, I think it's time we... Uh, put the old contracts behind us and uh, thought about getting some other things done. It definitely got us off our feet after a very long, cold and rather unprofitable winter and uh, here we are. So I will uh, park up, boom, done, and we will call it September the 7th. Let's do this. Probably time to uh, think about the fact that the weather isn't as pleasant as it was. So, no, you just don't want to do anything. Hello. That one apparently doesn't either. No? Come on. No. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hep, I'm stuck in my own bathroom. There we go. All right. <clears throat> A new day. Uh, seven o'clock. Six o'clock is pitch dark now, so we'll go for a seven. Oh, I forgot to collect. Oh, no. Please still be there. Crap. Oh. Uh. There we are. 
Ooh, there's a couple of new cultivating jobs, eh? What the heck is this? Why are there two? Oh, because I've got details on? No. Oh, apparently, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, because this is with and without the lease. That is pretty dang... Well, maybe we're not quite done. Because 37k? Yeah. It is field 31. This ain't going to be pretty, I guarantee. Uh... There's 33, 37, 34, 35, 6, 9, 43, uh, 8. It's got to be one of these really big guys. 31, oh yeah, it's just cuckoo. It is absolutely nutters. Thirty something thousand, yeah, you know. Um, oh, you guys have got what? No grass again, eh? Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Here's what we're gonna do. We are going to accept that contract. It's $47,000. Now, uh, what are we in? The dudes, I think, I hope. Yes, okay. What I'm going to do here is before we run off and start that contract, is I am going to suck up some grass and I'm going to fill that goat pen. So that our sheeps and goatsons will have a few days worth of not bugging us for breakfast every morning. And then, we're going to head out to uh, our biggest harvest job so far this entire year. And I think Leroy's going to pretty much owe us a free field after this one. Alright, let's... Uh, <clears throat> Let's get this underway. So, pipe out, lower it down, crank it up. Bit of a slope going on there, I wasn't expecting it. And that tractor's not in a terribly convenient spot, I'm afraid. This Gookum new addition to our little arsenal. I like it. It's got such a classic tractory look. You know. It ain't pretty, but it works. And that's exactly what you're looking for. I don't think there's a curved line on it, except for the wheels. And I'm pretty sure if they could have made those rectangular and they would have worked, that would be what we'd be seeing. So, let's get you out of the way of all the grass works. Alright. Pitter-patter, back at her. Ah, I did that well, didn't I? No. That's the answer. There we go. That's what we're after.
this isn't going to take us terribly long. Yeah, I think a thirty or a forty thousand dollar contract right about now will be a good way to uh, to end the season. <clears throat> and I know a lot of the last episodes have been contract work, but as I said, it's at this point. I mean, we're a hundred whatever grand in debt to the bank, you know. So our sort of side production stuff needs to be uh, set for that. The greenhouses don't make a lot of money. Um, you know, the firewood does, but it took a while to get it off the ground. So yeah, I think we really needed to uh, take advantage of the fact that, you know, Leroy's rich and lazy, and uh, that works well for people willing to do contracts. But indeed, things are starting to pile up here on our own farm as well. So, Which is more than I can say for my channel lately. So, hey, if you do uh, enjoy the content, or heck, at this point I'm willing to settle for, if you've watched it this long, uh, <laughs> please remember to reach down and uh, give that like button a poke. If you're a newcomer, and you can... Uh, tolerate me for any length of time maybe consider subscribing I put up uh, quite a lot of content there's a farm sim video every day and a video of something else every day as well uh, right now I got farmers life going we got ranch sim just started about to finish the enshrouded demo um, yeah a few things like that and then, of course, in my off time, I'm playing the heck out of Starfield. So, yeah. Because whatever opinion the great moaning masses might have about it, I'm enjoying the heck out of it. Whoa. Got a little distracted there, scratching my nose. <laughs> uh, TMI, dude. I said scratching. Okay. Do, 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 do. Big shout out to Sooty. Hope you're having yourself a fine weekend, buddy. Same with Old Man, and Darren, and Dougie, and all the gang. Glider Cat. Alright, that is a pretty much of that. Oh, those are just shadows. I thought, that's what a weird bunch of little dots of leftover grass. Okay, that's every bit of it now. So... Shut it up, raise it up, put the pipe down. 34,000. Not a huge, huge yield, but then again, we keep chewing off more bites of it, so it ain't getting bigger. Um, is that exactly in the way? Can I assume that that is... Uh... Oh, yeah. Couldn't, couldn't have done a better job myself. Nah. Goat, goat, sheep. There we go. There we go. Ha ha ha. Oh yeah. Okie dokie. So are we still got no, uh, what the heck we got goats for? Goat milk. I would think at some point, uh, you know, that would start to happen. Let's switch this to the back so we at least know that we're close enough, and we are. All right. Even if they take it all, that's fine. Ooh. They take it all and go, what? That's it? Yeah. Actually, no. Um, come to think of it, look at this. 
pipe out. Turn you on. And go suck it up, man. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. 259 liters. Well, that was worth it. <laughs> that sure looked like a bigger pile, didn't it? There you go, sheep. And lovely. Lovely. And get out of my trailer. Yoing. Alright, that should hold them for a bit. I mean, I think their capacity is much greater than this, so. But hey, 35,000 food and uh, 17 of water. Still no goat milk. Do I gotta, gotta come in here and help you out or what? Because I don't know how I'd make a terrible mess of it and we'd all just hate each other tomorrow. So, keep that in mind. Alright, we are now ready for Jog 2. Yes. So, boom, 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 egg. Alright, well, I don't care that you're filthy, but we should probably back you up a little bit. Well, no, your maintenance is pretty good. You just need fuel, don't you? So... You just have to glare at it really, really hard. Alright, we've got half a tank of gas. Let's get it out there and then we'll, uh, you know, we'll worry about dragging the tractor and the trailer. That's what we paid for all that fuel for after all. So, we are here. Excellent. So, let's see. Where uh, field 31 again is right there. So, yeah. Wow. Okay. Let's expand abate our map. Alright. Yeah, it. Um, it's one of those deals that couldn't be further away if we tried. here. Good chance to have a little look at how they're doing. Because it really doesn't matter which highway we take to the top. As you can see, it's a pretty straightforward grid set up like... Uh, oh, we still... Geez, that's what I mean, you know, there are things going on with our own farm that we do need to tend. But yeah, I, I, I couldn't look past that. Just could not. I don't really need this ginormous map because uh, the directions for getting there are quite simple. Go as far away from your own farm as you possibly can. Take a right, keep going, you're there. Because, uh, yeah, <laughs> there's nothing beyond it. 
It is, uh, oh, look at that. We have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight containers of firewood. That's not bad at all. So we got a good, you know, 30, 40 K sitting there that we can turn into lots and lots of money in about another ooh, month and a half. Always nice to have something to look forward to. All right, so let's assume there's nothing coming because I don't really want to lose all my momentum. one there's no no magic sauce for getting to this one cool <clears throat> we just have to get close and then fight our way in hopefully Roy's not watching well I mean it's his field we're going to do if we cut across one of his other fields I think that should be uh, should be forgiven all right yes I know I'm holding you up I don't have a sufficient amount piled up to pull over yet why don't you all go down that way and drive around? Hmm? Hmm? How many we got? One, two, three, four. Yeah, I guess five will do. I think that's a full spawn, pretty much. There you go. Make it quick. There's a ditch coming. <coughs> two. Oh, man. Come on. Hurry up. Three. Four. There you go. Come on, buddy. Good work. That's what I thought. That cleans up the entire spawn. We did that field. We did that field too. And that one. Alright, well. like this one's only roughly the size of Great Britain. It shouldn't take us more than a month. And, uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, there it is. It is, uh, pretty reasonable chunk of property. Lots of little weird, weird, weird little in and outs to that one. Okay. And I will likely do the same thing again when we're done here. Simply reset it to the uh, shop. Save the uh, $79 worth of diesel it costs us to drive here. Alrighty. Let's, uh... <clears throat> Pop your top. Wow. <laughs> what lies before us? Yeah, I don't see a whole lot of uh, hired workerness going on here. This will be one of these ones that we'll get the first outline done and it'll go, you finish 20% of the job. Because, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what this looks like from a satellite, but I'll bet it sticks out. Once we do an outline around it, it would really stick out. It would look like the biggest cell shaded project on the world. Yeah, see, this is like a mini field all on its own. And then we have to take those little grass bridges across to each of the new sections as we go. So, yeah, it's about the least worker-friendly environment you could think of. 
I mean, unless you consider it fair play to keep dropping your workers in the ditches, then it's the most friendly. I mean, look at how close to the edge this crop is. I wouldn't trust a hired worker here. And by the time you get the outline done, well, what do you got? Two more strips left up the middle? For little parts like this? I wonder where he wants us to take it. Oh, we're a little early to be worrying about that, I think. So, but anyway, guys, I will, uh, I will get this done, and, uh, I will be back. Well, hey folks, we are back. Indeed, and as you can see, well, <laughs> it's, uh, I mean, look at this place. Yeah. I don't know, uh, what sort of a, a footprint this would have if you were to, uh, knock all the, uh, corners and stuff off it and turn it into a rectangular field, but I'm gonna bet it would still take up a pretty fat chunk. So, but this is, there we go. The last bit we need to pick up. And then our 40,000 plus contract is done. Now, I did fill up the harvester with fuel. It was our most expensive fueling yet at $1,710. Which means between our last uh, two fields... Oops. I don't know what the heck I was thinking there. Um, we have spent better than two thousand dollars just on fuel so that is definitely something you have to uh, keep in mind and no doubt a fair bit of wear and tear on the uh, equipment as well as you can see our handy dandy wrencheroo symbol there is showing us that yes you have not been kind so that's it it is now all done let's uh, pipe in And let's do the turtle. There we go. Now. Let's step back a fair pace. Because I'm going to reset those. But if you stand too close, it doesn't seem to want to distinguish between you and the item. So, saving content, okie dokie. Um, yes, reset. Yes, I'm sure. Okay. And we should have a header. Not as easy to pick up, maybe if we zoom in a bit. There it is. Reset. Yes. Okay. And I believe this will be the, yep, the trailer. Okay, so there we are. Let's go and grab our grain. Well, not ours, obviously. Um, I'm not gonna make that mistake again. <laughs> so there was one section on this entire field. It is now 1016, so it took me two hours and 20 minutes to do this field. Um, there was one section, about 15 minutes worth, that I was able to turn a hired worker on, way down the other end by the road, that I was able to actually get a hired worker to do. So, that gave me a little bit of a break from it. As you can see, not too shabby, he pulled 57,000 and change off the field. So, uh, whew. That's nothing to sneeze at. That's going to make uh, Mr. Wilson enough money to certainly pay our way. Okay, now I suppose before I get too far, it might behoove us to figure out where we are going. Um, yeah, she's 100% down. Edgewater Grain. Oh, okay. So that's a little different. Where? Oh, where 
is Edgewater Grain. Yeah, I never noticed that before. See, there's a, a contract there for um, cultivating. There's one there. Uh, yeah, I never ever noticed these symbols before. Harvest contract, harvest contract, harvest contract. That is too cool. But um, unfortunately, it doesn't show me what I need it to show me. Um, there we go. Now, where is this spot? Here it is. No, that's Grain Pool East. There we are, Edgewater Grain. Tag it. Excellent. And we're off. So yeah, a couple grand in fuel, 400 something dollars in hired helping, and uh, the job's done. That was a big field. And, you know, it's not, uh, it's not one of them back and forthy things. You gotta figure out every little, you know, little sections of it that I'd end up sort of shaving off and doing and, you know, or continuing with the bigger mass and then having to come back and grab all the little pockets here and there that didn't get done. It was uh, quite the thing. But it is done now. And I do thank you all for uh, hanging around the nanosecond it took between the last time you saw me and this time compared to the two and a half hours that actually went by. So, uh, yeah, we are almost done here. Almost. Yeah, that kind of came up out of nowhere. Cause like I said, I, I looked when I logged in and there was a bunch of four and five thousand dollar contracts. And then all of a sudden, looky, looky, loo, and uh, here we are. The biggest contract we've taken so far. And uh, as I think I will title this one, an offer I could not refuse. Indeed. Yeah, this, uh, this dude's hauls that trailer with, uh, you know, damn near 60,000 liter pretty easy doesn't seem to bother it in the least I uh, I like this tractor I probably haven't mentioned that before but yeah I really do so oh look at all the stuff they got yes indeed <coughs> and things are just above and up and down I tell you, I think I'd put a little bit stiffer spring in the seat in this thing. Okay. As we close in on our target. Now, I'm going to be really careful here. Because this caught me up before. Now it is most clearly pointing to that tip. So, before we do the deed, let's make absolutely sure. So, we are here. Um, yeah, that's the one. What? That's not the one. What the heck? Underground storage. The heck are you talking about? Oh, 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 that's our other tractor. <laughs> it's this. Edgewater Grain. Yeah, okay. Okay, it's obviously the right one, and complete, and another 9,700 on top. 
Wow. And 589. So basically another $9,800, almost 10 grand in extra crop. That is pretty sweet. Because as we uh, go here, completed. Why am I getting 37? Hmm. Here we go. $84,000. So, I don't know. Maybe that it wasn't the least cost. Maybe what it's covering or showing you as the second number is what you're going to get, including your overage. Which I think is a little, you know, because I could simply stop right there and not dump the rest in and go and put it into storage. Right, sell it later when the price is better. So, don't know about that bit of system. But, anyway, that, my friends, was a good day. We not only made a ton of money, but we got our, uh, our sheep and goats to uh, a point where we shouldn't have to be running down there every morning and going, Are you sure you don't have any food? Because they'll have lots. I mean, there is 150 animals, so it's not like it's going to last forever, but should be pretty good. There we go. There we go. Our happy fleet. Nice. Alright, guys, that's going to do it. Hopefully you will remember to hit that like button on your way out. And, uh, well, have a great weekend. Take care of each other. And ciao for now.